Well, we're officially into Georgia, but there was no sign. The It was that bridge back there, but um, yep, we left Florida, we we're into Georgia, and camp is just in like a half mile, so we're barely into Georgia. This is north of Chattahoochee, Florida. It's the closest town. This is like, like one minute north. Yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> this is east. We're way down yonder. On the Chattahoochee. It gets hotter than Hoochie Coochie down here, I hear. 79 degrees. Would that qualify as a Hoochie Coochie? Uh, I don't know, but is there Chattahoochee, Georgia? Because I feel like he was singing more about Chattahoochee, Georgia. I don't know. Someone will let us know. Mm, I could Google it, too. We don't Google it. No. We like to keep Guess. Things, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep things interesting. Um, so, this is East Bank... Corps of Engineer campground we're headed to. I'm uh, going to set up for a couple days, see what there's to see. Interesting. Doesn't look like, I wouldn't guess I was in Florida. Well, you're not. This is Georgia. Oh, you just said that. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't guess I was in Georgia either. <laughs> this girl's not excited about Turn anything left right now. East Bank Road. Okay, I got to navigate us in. We get a spot. Caravan. Of well, like I looked this morning on on all stays and there was like six or seven available sites for like a week. Yeah. Well, then a caravan of like 30 people came in and there's one spot left for a one night site six. And I said, can I go down and check it out? And then just reserve it online. And she said, yeah. Okay. But she said, if you could come back up and get your tag or they got, they got the tags and stuff. But Okay. We can walk back up here. But anyway, I thought we could. Since it, the cell service isn't good, we can turn the Starlink on and... Yeah, book it. It's easier for them, I think, if we book it online anyway. Oh, yeah. So... It's like down by the water. So. One site left. It's way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. Now, yeah, we got to talking. I think um, he was singing about the Chattahoochee River, which this or is lake. not, right? I well, I think it's a... Because in the country music video, Alan Jackson, isn't that the video he's on a boat? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, that's a different video. Is it? I don't know. Yeah, anyways, he says way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. Yeah, definitely a waterway of some sort, I would say. But we, then he says, we laid rubber on the Georgia asphalt. Yeah. You can't really lay rubber on a boat. No, he said Georgia asphalt. So, definitely a road. And it got a little crazy, but they never got caught, luckily. Um, okay, we can't Google it because no cell service. But we're going to get down here, site six, hopefully hook our Starlink up and get this sorted so we could chill get dinner going take her for a long walk and just relax good morning yes it is morning we did not film last night because we basically just got camp ready made dinner and went to bed <laughs> it's pretty uneventful we did get up this morning everybody got their workouts in this girl got a nice long walk and her she got breakfast and lunch so far um, we're right on the border of a time change, but we're sticking on East Coast time because we're headed into Tennessee, and I think they're on East Coast time, so we're just gonna... The, the east side of Tennessee is Eastern, so that's okay. where we'll be. Yeah. Um, we still have a couple <clears throat> days to get there. Now, we are leapfrogging up to another, hopefully we don't have reservations, but another uh, Corps of Engineer campground. Um, it's about a three-hour drive, and we're hoping to spend two nights there. Now. 
Well, we made it into camp. This is the, I, I have it here because I know I would forget. Um, our Schaefer Herd campground. This is a COE campground. Um, we found a spot, we got checked in and settled in, got some dinner and then... It's been breezy all day. Yeah. And we know there's a storm coming in tonight and then it's been getting worse. And then while we're eating dinner, the camp host showed up. Yes. <laughs> And she said there is a weather warning. They're expecting like up to 60 mile an hour winds and ping pong size hail. So um, we're just gonna take some precaution here and we're lowering our jacks just so they're touching. So we have some added stability. You can tell the winds are already kicking up, right? Sorry for the The storm doesn't come in for seven. The storm doesn't even come in for six or seven hours. It's gonna be like midnight, one in the morning, so. Yeah. I will be sound asleep, but if we do get ping pong size hail, I will wake. <laughs> I'm not worried so much about the wind. The good thing about it is the wind is coming from the south, so I don't have to move the camper because it's going to hit the long Yeah, way. straight. Yeah, but I'm going to lower these down just so it's not... Yeah, just some added stability. Yeah. So we'll get these lowered and hunker down. We'll get back with you and see how this night goes. The only thing I'm worried about is um, our fan. Our fan is a per it's not a it's not a fantastic fan or um, Max Air fan. It's a it's not no. Oh, it's, I didn't know that. I don't know what it is, but the plastic cover is pretty flimsy. Yeah, so. I'm almost tempted to climb up there and just cover it with duct tape. So it doesn't break with the because hail? Because if we get hit with golf ball size hail, that's going to break and we're going to get wet. That's pretty much the only thing up there we're worried about. The solar panels, one of those flexible flat ones, whatever happens. And the AC, we're on our way to trade out anyway. So not that I want to ruin this one, but if it happens, it happens. Not worried about that. I'm not really worried about it. but. Yeah. This might be the first night I'm not loving the skylight above our head. Oh yeah, it's gonna get wild now. There is a shelter over here, a little bathroom uh, building that she said we could use a shelter if we don't have like a tornado warning. We don't have a tornado thing. watch yet. There's tor tornado watches just north of us in Tennessee. Yeah. But if we get one, that's the shelter. Yeah, so we're just uh, southwest of Atlanta a ways, uh, oh, just north hour. of West Point, Georgia. So, um, yeah, we'll get these jacks down and uh, get inside, hunker down, take a pistol for one last spin around, and... It may be an interesting night. Yeah. Ooh. So far we've got rain, uh, but we also have a tornado watch now, it says, and it's 9 o'clock at night. I'm going to try and go to bed though, I'm fired. <laughs> what do you think? Might get loud tonight. <laughs> Might get loud <laughs> This girl. Not a worry in the world with this one. Well, we live to tell the tale. It did get rocking and rolling last night. How bad? I slept. <laughs> he slept. Him and Pistol slept through the entire thing. So, kind of the mind to say it wasn't that bad, but of no course. No hail. I would have woke up for that. Yeah, there was no hail. And one thing I noticed about this camper compared to the vans that we've had, even the torrential downpours of rain, a lot quieter it's because quieter. it's not metal. It's more of like a muted thud instead of like the pinging off the metal. <laughs> so, that was interesting. Uh, it was the first like heavy, heavy downpour we've been in in the camper. And the first big winds and having the, well, been in some wind, 
but we've never put the jack lifts down to stabilize the truck. What a difference. We'll definitely do that again. I mean, we were solid as a rock in there. It was very windy, but we didn't even, I didn't even feel a thing. It was like not moving at all. So I think that that's important. I, I kind of woke up one time when the big thunder and lightning. Oh yeah. So I, I, I don't know if it worked or not. If it did, you saw, but, um, I had the camera on for a little bit of time capturing some of the lightning and thunder. That one was so close and so loud. Like it just vibrated. It gave me like a little shockwave. So <laughs> it's weird. And I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. I swear <clears throat> I can like hear or feel the electricity in the air. Yeah, maybe. It just has a certain buzz to it or something. I can feel it. But um, yeah, it was exciting there for a little bit, but nothing, nothing to worry about. Nothing happened. And we need a car wash we, though. Yeah, we did get into a tornado watch, but oh, yeah. never into the warning. So we didn't have to go run in the concrete bathroom over there. We were prepared. <coughs> we had a plan. I knew what I was taking with me. and Bottle of wine and a book. <laughs> pistol meds and our money <laughs> and our passports. <laughs> Well, let's head down the road, let the wind blow all this stuff off and find a new place to spend the night. Yeah, so next time you see us, we will be at our friend's place in Friendsville, Tennessee, and we will be swapping out our air conditioner. See you down there. Carry on. Carry on. Pistol, you ready to go, baby? Yeah. That's the best seat in the house. Thanks for watching. And a very special thank you to our patrons for supporting our channel. Join us over on Patreon for extra videos and more content. Check out our website or Amazon for our pistol book. Carry on. Carry on.